In this tutorial, we are going to see progress bar with splash screen. So for that, you can follow these steps. Go to the activity main.xml background drawable you can use at the bottom progress bar you can set minimum width of your progress bar and progress which is by we are setting with time so here it will show you that this way then we set it to 20 then we show some more after that go to main activity here we are using the progress bar class Here we set it to zero, and here we are using handler class. So in the on create method, register your progress bar control. Here we are using anonymous class of thread. Which takes runnable method. Runnable method implements run method by overriding it. So in run method we have to increment up to 10 times which set increments up to 10, 10, 10 so integer i is equal to 0, i less than 10 i plus, plus as you know here we are using a for loop in which case you know how many times loop will iterate so Here we set it to 20, so it will fast processing. Handle handler dot post method, which is post to the runnable object. Here we set it to pgr dot set progress which is method which takes the integer value which is progress we take it here which is integer value in if condition we are checking if progress is maximum then it will hide your progress bar or move to the next activity or class get max is property of progress bar also which 
takes the maximum value In that case, we are setting visibility, which takes the integer value. Let's set to four, which is hiding. In your library, it will save as public static final visibility is equal to four, zero, or eight. So here we are using directly. And after that, here you are using a try catch block because of you are using a thread dot sleep. It will sleep after two thousand milliseconds. Let's say three thousand milliseconds, so it will take a three seconds time. Thread exception. Thread class which throws the interrupted exception. If you don't know, you can use the by default exception class also. Here we are using the anonymous class of thread. So in that case, we have to just dot start thread. So in that case, we are using the horizontal progress bar. So it will automatically hide after as per we set it. So right click on your project, run as Android application. It is installing and monitor it from here. This progress bar we are using in which case you know after how many times you have to switch to another activity or how to deal your as per your needs of your android application in that case we are using this type of horizontal seat is hidden after your processing completed so here you can also use the new activity so new others this is the other way of selecting android activity instead of separately adding a class file and xml file so after This way it will show you the and automatically it is set to set content view. So in that case you have to progress by visibility, put it on command. Instead of that, as you know, you can use the intent to switch from one activity to another. As we seen in earlier tutorials, what is intent and need to use, and we are starting activity. So save it. That will run as Android application. In that case, we have seen this splash screen with progress bar demo if you set to 10 instead of 20 it is completely shown you the bill to 100% your progress we will see in only
Okay. After this progress is over, it will switch to another activity as a splash screen. This is splash screen progress bar. You can also use this concept in your Android application. See, it is fulfilled. After that, it switch to another activity. This way. So, as we seen, you can also use here intermediate of progress bars property set it to true so it will show you that you you cannot monitor your process but it will show you the starting to end starting to end as a, as you can see in emulator See, here it is. As you know, here you cannot monitor the process, how many it is done. In that case, you have to use this intermediate group. See, after that, it will switch to another activity. This way. And you can also use the this control when you don't know how much it will take some time or what time to monitor I set it to black so you can monitor easily in that case you have to same concept writing here progress bar 1 so I didn't see some errors because remember this thing we are using a horizontal progress bar to show the specific how many process is done to be shown to user and if you don't know you can use intermediate just set it to true by default it is false and you can use this this progress bar as a bar style large progress bar when you don't know how much it will take to response in that case when you are see this way it is working so as per I say you, if you don't know how much it will take some response to the user request from the server you can use this progress bar as you see in a Google Play Store you can see this progress bar so it, it will show that it will take some time from the server to respond to your request Thank you for watching video, subscribe us on YouTube.